Chapter 1 Angle and its Measurement Let's study. In this chapter, we are going to study directed angle, angles of different measurements, units of measure of an angle, length of an arc of a circle, area of a sector of a circle. Let's recall. We know how to draw the acute angles of different measures. Also, in a circle, we can find arc length and area of a sector in terms of the central angle and the radians. Activity 1. Draw the angle ABC of measure 40 degrees. In the figure 1 and 2, both the angles are of 40 degrees. But one is measured in anticlockwise direction and other is measured in clockwise direction. Now we will differentiate between such angles. Directed angles. Suppose we have a triangular wooden piece on which we have to laminate a plywood of same shape. So students, we need to cut the plywood exactly of the same size and shape. That is, similar. Let us put the wooden piece as shown over here. Now, fix one side OA of the wood and rotate it about O till it occupies the position of the ray OB. Now, let us draw ray OB. Friends, the angle so obtained due to rotation is directed angle AOB. Similarly, if you consider ray OA and rotate OA about A till it reaches to occupy the position of ray AB, here we get the directed angle OAB. And now we can cut the triangular piece of plywood using the concept of directed angle. Having understood this, let us look at the mathematical definition. The ordered pair of rays, ray OA and ray OB, together with the rotation of the ray OA to occupy the position of the ray OB, is called the directed angle AOB, and the amount of rotation of initial ray gives the measure of the directed angle. It is denoted as Directed angle AOB, where ray OA is called the initial arm and ray OB is called the terminal arm. O is called the vertex. Now, consider two triangles with all three corresponding angles same. If we try to put both the triangles together on one another, then its corresponding angles will only fit or coincide with each other due to the positions of the rays of the angles. Now, make a note of the following things. 1. Directed angle AOB is not equal to directed angle BOA as the direction of ray is different. 2. If the rotation of the initial ray is anticlockwise, then the measure of the directed angle is positive. And if it is clockwise, then the measure of directed angle is negative. 3. So hence, in directed angle, we take into consideration A, the initial arm, B, the final arm, and C, the amount and sense of the rotation of the initial ray. Hello students. My name is Sanket and today we are going to start with Standard 11 Max 1, Chapter number 1, Angle and its Measurement. In the earlier standards, you have learned what are the different types of angles differentiated on the basis of their measures. Angles having measure less than 90 are known as acute angle, equal to 90 is right angle, greater than 90 is obtuse angle. You know how to construct these various types of angles, you also know how to construct angle bisectors. Also, the measures of angles are used to calculate various things like length of an arc is measured by using the measure of the central angle. The angle or the area of the sector is also required to use the central angle's measure. So, there are various things where angles are required. 
However, apart from distinguishing angles based on the measure, we can also distinguish angles on the basis of how they are constructed. This we will understand with the concept of what is known as directed angle. Now friends, what is directed angle? Directed angle means angle drawn from one position to other position. Now students, angle has two arms. Let us consider that we have an initial arm, say OA. So, let us consider OA to be the initial arm. Now, if I rotate this ray OA about the point O, let us rotate it in anticlockwise direction. So, I rotate the ray OA about the point O in anticlockwise direction up till it reaches the final position that is that is ray OB. So, I have got an angle AOB which is formed by rotating the initial arm OA above the point O till it reaches the final position that is ray OB. Here, OA is known as the initial arm while the final position of the angle, the final position of ray OA is known as the terminal arm. So, OB will be the terminal arm. So, we have angle AOB drawn in anticlockwise direction where direction is important. Hence, angle AOB will be known as directed angle and this is labeled by or named by We see that we have drawn a small arc here which indicates it is a directed angle and not a normal angle. Now friends, you might be thinking that we have drawn here the angle in anti-clockwise direction. What if we draw the angle in a clockwise direction? Let us consider we have drawn the same angle, let's say Now if in this case, I have drawn angle BOA such that OB is the initial arm and OA is the terminal arm which means I have moved ray OB in clockwise direction about the point O. Here ray OB will be the initial arm and ray OA will be the terminal arm. Now students remember that a directed angle drawn in an anti-clockwise direction is said to have a measure of positive. So it will be known as positive directed angle. Similarly a directed angle drawn in clockwise direction will have a negative measure and hence it is known as negative directed angle. Now although in these two cases the value of the measure, the magnitude of the measure is same. However, the signs will be different. This will be a positive angle. This will be a negative angle. Therefore, we can say that the first one is denoted by directed angle AOB and the second one will be written as directed angle BOA. Note that these two angles are not equal. Correct? Although their measures, the magnitude of their measures is same, directed angle AOB is not equal to directed angle BOA. Types of directed angle 1. The zero angle. If amount of rotation of the ray OA about O is zero, then the directed angle is called the zero angle. In this case, the initial ray OA and terminal ray OB coincide. Thus measure of directed angle AOB is equal to 0 degrees. Now you must ask where do we learn or see about zero angle? So students, what is the angle when it is 12 o'clock in the watch? 
when we open the door there is some angle between the door and the frame but when we close the door then the angle becomes 0 degrees now we have understood what is a positive directed angle as well as negative directed angle let us now understand what is a zero angle zero angle means that the initial arm and the final position arm are coinciding they are one and the same thing for example if oa is my initial arm and my final arm that is ob also coincides with oa that is oa has not moved at all so i will say ob is my final arm in this case we see that oa has not moved at all which means that this is a zero angle correct similarly what do you mean by one rotation angle angle which has completed one rotation either in anti clockwise direction or in clockwise direction will be known as one rotation angle so let's say oa is the initial position of the arm or the initial arm we are rotating it in anti clockwise direction completely till it again comes and coincides with its original position then angle aob has completed one rotation so this will be known as one rotation angle similarly if i rotate the initial arm in clockwise direction also till it coincides with the original position again that will be known as one rotation angle that can be denoted by here we have rotated the initial arm oa in clockwise direction till it coincides with the original position this is known as one rotation angle two the straight angle Consider a Japanese fan. When it is closed, the angle is zero. But when you open it, the angle becomes a straight angle. Now, let us see the mathematical definition. If the initial ray OA and the terminal ray OB are opposite rays, then the directed angle so formed is called the straight angle. Here measure of directed angle AOB is equal to 180 degrees anticlockwise or measure of directed angle AOB is equal to minus 180 degrees clockwise. Note that in this case AOB is a straight line and half of one rotation angle is straight angle. Let us understand the next type of angle which is straight angle as the name suggests the straight angle will lie on a straight line here the initial arm and the final arm or the terminating arm will be in opposite direction as shown here so angle aob here is actually a straight line and hence this angle will be known as a straight angle now this angle is achieved by either rotating the initial arm oa in anti clockwise direction till it reaches this final position ob or it can also be achieved by rotating the initial arm oa in the clockwise direction until it reaches the final position ob so it can be achieved by rotating in anti clockwise direction or also in clockwise direction this particular angle will be known as a straight angle. The last type of angle, the last type of directed angle which we will be studying is known as right angle. Now students, as you already know, right angle means the measure will be equal to 90 degree. Here also the right angle can be achieved in any direction that is it can be anti-clockwise positive right angle or clockwise which will be a negative right angle. It will be shown as follows. Let us consider this to be the initial arm OA.
if I rotate it 90 degree in anti-clockwise direction, then this will be a positive right angle. Similarly, if this is the initial arm OA and I rotate it 90 degree in anti-clockwise direction, it gave a positive angle. If we rotate it in clockwise direction, that is downwards, In this case, we have rotated initial arm OA in clockwise direction till it reaches the final arm or the terminating arm position OB through 90 degrees. So, this will be a negative 90 degree and this will be positive 90 degree. So, students, these are the various types of directed angles that you need to understand and implement in this given chapter. The further details about this chapter will be seen in the next video. Standard angles in a 2D system. A directed angle with its vertex at origin O and the initial ray along the positive x axis is called standard angle or angle in standard position. If you consider our xy system of coordinate geometry, so here directed angle XOP, directed angle XOQ, and directed angle XOR are directed angles. Subscribe to my channel, click on bell icon to get notification about new videos.